Recently, I made my first ever game in Unity, and it honestly turned out a lot better than I expected for just a couple days of work. But now I want to challenge myself again and turn that game into a mobile game so that I can get that mobile game money. The only problem is I've never made a mobile game before, but I mean with the amount of mobile games coming out nowadays, surely it can't be that hard. First things first is I need to get my game onto my phone so that I can actually test it out and make sure it works well on touchscreen. Now usually this would be pretty simple, but I have an iPhone. And sadly, tinkering with an iPhone can never be simple. Basically to build your game onto an iPhone, you have to have a MacBook. And the main issue there is I don't own a MacBook. And I also don't have like a thousand dollars to throw out a brand new MacBook. This means I either need to borrow someone else's MacBook or use Unity's cloud build services. Luckily for now, I found a pretty solid workaround. Unity has an app called Unity Remote, which lets you plug your phone into your computer, and then it streams your game over to your phone and lets you control it through your phone. The main limitations are quality, since it's having to be streamed, and then it also has to be plugged into my computer in order to work. But for now, it should work since I'm just testing things out. Okay, so the first big problems I'm noticing is, well, I can't move, first off. I have not programmed it to actually work with a touch screen. The only thing that works is this button. And then also, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is super hard to see what's going on. Everything's way too small for the mobile screen. I just need to make the game a lot closer up so it's easier to tell what's going on. Yeah, the game is absolutely broken. So I started by resizing everything in the game because everything was just way too small. Next up was slowing things down because now asteroids and enemies were just zooming across the screen. And after finishing that and rescaling the UI, things were starting to look a lot better. Okay, so I rescaled a ton of stuff and changed the speed, and so now this is what we're looking at right now. And what's really cool is even though I don't have touch controls, I can still play it with my mouse right now, which is super nice for testing the speed and everything. But next up is going to be setting up those mouse controls so I can actually play it directly on my phone. Now I needed to get touch controls working so that I could actually play it on my phone. And so I did this by, uh, uh... Here's how to control your game using touch input in Unity. We do this by using input.getTouch. And here we simply give it the index of the touch. So if you want to get the first touch. There we go. The game's controls are basically the exact same as on PC. Just instead of your ship following your mouse position, it moves and points towards your finger, which is super mobile friendly. And we care about that here. Technically, the video could have been done here since I got the game working on my phone. So you, you guys can leave if you're lame. So now, all you cool people, I didn't just want to port my basic game over to my phone. I mean, that'd be too easy. I needed to make it addictive. I needed to trick the player into thinking they're having fun and then push a random update one day that blocks everything behind microtransactions and advertisements. I figured the best place to start was to stop developing the game. Because now it's time for some research. If I wanted to make an addicting mobile game, I needed to play addicting mobile games. So I went over to Danny's channel and downloaded his one week mobile game project and gave it a go. And after playing this game for much, much longer than I'd like to admit, and then maybe a bit longer, I had some ideas on how to make my game better. Firstly, I needed impact. You know, some pizzazz whenever you kill something. The best way to add impact was to add some simple screen shake to make everything feel so much better. Next up, I made the score meter pulse whenever you collect points. That way it felt super impactful. It also pulses based on how many points you score. So this is what it looks like with 100 points. And then this is what it looks like when you score 500 points. I can literally see the dopamine. Now in my last video, I asked you guys what you wanted to see in the game, and you guys really wanted to see power-ups and guns. So I figured why not make some power-ups that switch up your guns a bit. I started by making a power-up crate and a sprite that you would shoot at and it would give you a power-up, and then I brought that over to Unity. I gave it the exact same movement pattern as my asteroids and made it break if it got hit by an asteroid or shot by an enemy. That way you had to collect it fast before something else got to it. I also had an idea where if an enemy shoots a power-up box, then they would actually get the power-up instead. But let me know what you guys think in the comments about that. Now when it came to the actual power-ups, I wanted them to all be really good on their own, but synergize super well together so that they 
things get really crazy. So after a bit of ideation, I came up with three simple power-ups that did just that. Firstly, I have speed, which would double the base fire rate of your gun. Basically, it turns you into a machine gun. Next up, I have size, which turns your bullets into big bullets and instantly kill anything they hit. Lastly, I have spear, which lets your bullets pierce through and damage enemies and asteroids without breaking on impact. Each of these power-ups are really good on their own, but when you start combining them like the infinity stones, things get kind of crazy. I want to add a ton more power-ups in the future, so let me know in the comments what you guys think I should add. Now, once I had the power-ups working, I wanted a notification system to tell you which power-up you just collected. I mean, I know it's kind of obvious which one you get, but still, I, th I thought it'd be cool. It was about that time I showed my game to one of my friends, and he said that it kind of reminded him of Super Hot in a way, or it should have that aesthetic, so I kind of tried to base my notification system around that. So I got the text displaying front and center on screen, and then I also pulsed some chromatic aberration whenever you got a power-up, but I still needed some audio to seal the deal. If you've watched my game development videos, you know I usually use my voice for this. Ooh. But for this one, I decided to use a robot voice generator on a website I found called Lingo Jam. Oh wow, look, they also have an AI girl generator, whatever that means. I'm gonna recommend none of you click on that because it sounds like malware, but hey, now I have cool robot sounds. Speed, spare, subscribe to its rascal. <laughs> Lastly was just adding some polish, like a little score number that pops up whenever you kill an enemy, and then wiping out all enemies and asteroids on screen whenever you take damage. And with that, the game's done. That being said, I'm not done, because the game still doesn't run natively on my phone. I never did that. As of now, I've only been using Unity Remote. So after borrowing my sister's MacBook, downloading Unity and Xcode, signing my soul away to Apple's terms and conditions, the game was there and I could actually play it on my phone without having to be plugged into a computer. So yeah, here's the game. Basically, you use your finger to guide and aim the ship. That way you can avoid enemies and asteroids while also trying to blast enemies for points. And now there's a bunch of power-ups and things you can collect that make the game a lot more interesting. The longer you're alive, the faster and harder the game gets, and I'm honestly super happy with how this turned out. Looking at where the game was a couple days ago versus where it is now is just absolutely crazy. I think that the most interesting thing I learned while making this game is that Unity actually makes turning your games into mobile games really easy, and then Unity has a bunch of great resources that they've put out, as well as there's a bunch of great YouTubers like Brackies who have also posted a ton of tutorials, and then also all of Unity's UI elements like buttons work right out of the box with touch controls, which is super awesome. Also, I learned something very interesting, which is that Apple development builds actually expire after a couple days, so I planned on doing a live playthrough of the game, but now that I'm at home and no longer visiting my family, all I have left is this screen recording because I literally cannot open the game on my phone anymore. And like I said, I was borrowing my sister's MacBook, and since I'm home now, I don't really have access to it anymore. That being said, I am super happy with how this game turned out, and because of that, I actually want to keep working on this game and put it on on the App Store or Google Play Store, so let me know in the comments what you guys want to see in the game for when I actually turn it into a full-on game release. So if you haven't seen the first video, or this video's been out for a couple weeks, you can click this playlist right here, and that is going to take you to the entire series of me developing this game from start to finish. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!